water drainage, specifically in the canals. All of this, of course, before Nicole possibly impacts our area. And right now, crews in Cape Coral are working to get the storm debris out from Hurricane Ian, saying they don't expect conditions from Nicole to create any new problems during cleanup. This might have to deal with some rain, but other than that, we don't expect um, any further damage. And that from the leader of Cape Coral Solid Waste. The statement comes as Fox Force Colton Chavez also tells us the city of Cape Coral just started removing debris from the city's canal system earlier today. And tonight Colton joins us from one of the many canals in the Cape where crews will eventually be getting to Colton. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Just take my word for it since it's pretty dark a little earlier now, but these canals need a lot of work. And uh, Terry Schweitzer, who the man you just heard from, he told me it's going to take the city about six months to clean all of these canals. We have over 400 miles of them here in Cape Coral alone. But let's talk a little bit sooner. We're talking about Nicole. And I asked city leaders that if in the next couple of days they're prepared for whatever the weather may bring. I mean, this is not necessarily the news you want to hear. News of heavy rain and wind moving in from Nicole was not welcomed by Jesus Pavon, who lives off one of the many canals that were just destroyed by Hurricane Ian one month ago. And just looking at, at the thing going up and down like that, that was uh, that was pretty scary to watch. But now there's something new for Jesus to watch as Cape Coral crews start to remove debris from his canal for the first time since the hurricane. We expect this process to last up to six months. The summertime deadline coming from Cape Solid Waste Manager Terry Schweitzer, who says the city will start out with five land-based and five water-based crews and could tack on more contracted workers as they move through the canals. Besides the trees, is porta potties, garbage totes, docks and wooden structures that broke away during the storm. But for this next storm named Nicole, Schweitzer says they don't expect any additional damage and says when it comes to addressing storm drains ahead of her arrival. What we're doing right now, you know, people calling them in. There's been a couple people that have called in already and either a city crew or, or uh, one of the debris crews will go out and, and remove that debris. And as for drop sites like this one off Skyline Boulevard. Uh, we don't expect any flooding. I've, I've asked the contractors to, you know, build what we call the roads within within the debris site to build them up to make sure we can keep the trucks moving and uh, not have that, that flooding. If no additional damage goes into Cape Canals from Nicole, Schweitzer says there are about 200,000 cubic yards of mixed up debris crews will have to remove. A staggering number, but one that's easier to swallow as crews are starting to be seen. But it's cool to see them come out here and, uh, and start digging all this stuff up. Um, it seems like they're, they're on it. And we were asking Cape Coral City leaders earlier today just about how far they've come just from the debris removal process on the street side. Now, Terry Schweitzer tells me that about 60% of that debris has already been cleaned up. And just before our 6 o'clock newscast, uh, we had one of the public information officers for the city of Cape Coral reach out and say they're being cognizant and they're looking at what Nicole might turn into. As of right now, they don't have any information on, and on if any additional shelters will be open, but they say that information will be released as we get closer to whenever Nicole decides to make its way to Southwest Florida. And of course, you can count on Fox 4 both on air and online to give you those latest updates. But for now, live in Cape Coral, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.